What up folks, KUT here back again with another video. This is the KUT Productions video. Today I have on a Zoom, I have Mike White. He is the nephew of the graffiti legend Don D or Donald White. He is a legend, one of the pioneering legends in, in this graffiti thing out of New York City. Um, check this video out right now. All right, y'all. There we go. All right, everybody, so All right. Be here. I have Mike White. Mike, introduce yourself. Tell the people who you are. So my name is Michael White. I am the son of Don D. White's brother, or the son of Don D. White's brother. Don D. White was my uncle, essentially, is what it amounted to. Um, so essentially, the reason why we're doing this today is, you know, we're going to speak a lot on what the foundation, what the estate is trying to do, um, you know, where the Instagram site is going and how we're taking Donnie's life into that next step. Yes. So before we get into that, we're going to run right into it. I just want to... Um... So what was your relationship with Don D. White? Um, was he, was Don D. you a lot younger or? So, so my relationship basically stems on, you know, Don D. was 17 when I was born. I was born in 78, Don D. was born in 61. Okay. Um, so, so essentially, I, I guess you could say I was a little knucklehead nephew running around <laughs> creating yeah. havoc going through the house, right? right? You know, so a lot of times what would happen is when I was growing up, my parents would leave us at my grandmother's house for, you know, summers or whatever they had to go to work. We weren't in school, whatever the case may be. Well, Don, you know, lived with my grandmother till he passed. So every time we were there, you know, 90% of the time, Don was there because, you know, that's where he was living at. You know, it's funny. I was telling uh, a friend of mine, Doc, too, the other day, you know, we used to sit in Dondi's room. And a lot of people know Dondi's room because of subway art. His yeah. room is actually in the book, you know, when he's yeah, sitting yeah. there with the, uh, yeah, when he's sitting there with the photo album. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep, there you go. Right here. There you go. There you go. Yep. So, yeah, so, you know, so in Doc, I was like, you know, it's crazy. You know, we're sitting on that bed playing Atari, me and my sister playing Pac-Man, and Donnie's creating masterpieces on the table. Right. And it's like, man, yeah, we don't know what's going on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, you know, right. like, you know, now, hey, no, no, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to work over here. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Right, right. So, yeah, but yeah, so that was basically mine and his relationship. You know, it was more or less that young nephew, you know, older uncle. Yeah. Basically, you know, he was my favorite uncle. You know, we hung out a lot. You know, he taught me how to read comic books. You know, he'd buy me candy. Right. You know, he was a huge, huge sci fi guy. Wow. So, Star Wars was huge. You know, I, I still have one of his Transformers he bought back from a trip over in Tokyo when he did the Wild Style trip. He picked up one of the first Transformers over there and brought it back, and I got it sitting here in my house. Nice. But, um, but, yeah, it's, you know, Don, the best thing I can say about Don is if you knew Don, you knew Don. Wow. However, if you did not know Don D, you would never know he was the influential artist that he is. Right. Because he was just a normal dude walking down the street. Right. So <laughs> was Martha Cooper, did you meet her? Was she around? And... No, no. When they did the... Uh, when Subway Art came out, those pictures were done in 83, 84. Yeah. yeah. I was probably five or six. Okay. Possible I might have met her because she might have been at the house one day. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but yeah. Five, yeah. Six, you know, yeah, I, I couldn't tell you. You know, that's what I was talking to my sister about Michelle the other day, too. You know, we had all these influential people coming in and out of the house. Oh, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, Dondi was. Yeah. Pretty was big friends with Durrell. Dondi was friends oh, with yeah. Jeff Hurst. You know, Ram LZ, Futura, yeah. Zephyr, all those Legend. guys. Legends. Legends. Yeah. Like, I follow graffiti and I come from art and I love it. Like, the Children of the Great, Children of the Great piece, that's my favorite all-time whole car. Dondi is my favorite all-time writer. So when we connected, it was like, dope. Yeah. And your name's on this cover, so you were involved with getting this done. Well, that's my father, so it's kind oh, of funny. Oh, okay, Mike. Yeah, so, so me and my father have the same name. My father okay. is Michael Anthony White. Okay. I'm Michael Albert White. Okay. And Albert comes from my grandfather. So okay. I was named after my grandfather, Donnie's dad. Yep. So it gets kind of confusing, you know, when you get out there, because for 20 years, my dad basically handled Donnie's estate from the front lines out. Yes. You know, he's the one that was able to set everything up in the way it is now to where we can do stuff commercially, where Dondi's at a level now 
where we have canvases selling six figures, you know. And all. Yeah, yeah, I see that, yeah. <laughs> you know, 20 years ago, we were lucky, you know, if we got 10, 15 grand for a canvas. Now it's like, whoo, you know, and that's, that's all reflective of, of the work my dad did. You know, he did a lot of this. Now, obviously, dad is getting a little, um, dad's getting a little younger or a little older at this point. So he's starting to retire and everything. And then from there, yeah, somebody, I'm sorry, bro. Somebody knocked on my door. <laughs> okay, you can edit this out right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so our names are exactly the same. Yeah. So for that 20 years he was out there, you know, he's starting to get older. You know, we're pushing him back into retirement. It was more or less, you know, we had a talk one day. He was like, I, I can't really deal with all the people and everything like that. It's yeah, yeah. Hey, relax, you know, take a back seat. Yeah. I'll jump in and help you out from here. Okay. So, you know, so it's funny, I've been doing this now for about a year and a half, mm -hmm. um, kind of out there in the front lines. You know, we set up the Instagram site, you know, at Dondi the Real. Yeah. Um, we did a skateboard deck collaboration with One X Run. I've got a couple other things coming up this year, too, that'll get really blow people's minds. That's cool. Um, but, yeah, so, you know, it's kind of funny when I started taking over, when I started coming out in the public image or the public area, I guess, everybody thought it was my dad. So then it was like, oh, oh, okay. no, I got <laughs> right, right, so right. The, the way we always described it was, it was big Mike and little Mike. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's basically how it amounts to. So let me ask you, is Duro around? You know, I haven't heard from Duro. Oh, God, it's probably been. Last time I saw Duro, I was up in New York about 0203. Mm. Last time I saw him. Okay. Yeah, okay. I have no, I couldn't tell you what happened to that cat. <laughs> so you, yeah. um, did you ever do any art or no? I think I had that issue already. No, 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 no. I, you know, Don was the, Donnie was the artist in the family. You know, he was the one that had the magical gift. You know, I, I play around a little bit, but it ain't nowhere near anything I want sure. to yeah, play yeah. it that way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Special. Yeah, he's definitely special. I see the hoodie too. I see that. I can tell that style. <laughs> this is one of the ones from the Off-White collection that we did back in 19. Nice. Yeah. Wow. yeah, we got lucky. Virgil did a whole line dedicated to Donnie. It was the... Uh, <laughs> Summer 1920 summer collection. Okay. Yeah, he did like uh, four or five hoodies, you know, shirts, pants, yeah. sweatpants, shorts. Yeah, it was, a, it was a whole nice run. Nice. Yeah, Virgil, Virgil, we had, come to find out, Virgil is a huge, Virgil is very, very heavily influenced by Donnie. Yeah, that's dope. I just want you know, the things that you find out moving on. You mm -hmm. know, it's like I was telling my dad. We're getting into the generation now where it's basically my generation, you, me, you know, we're in our 40s and everything. We were coming up at that time seeing all of it. You know, some of us got inspired, some of us looked at it in a different way. The yeah. ones that got inspired are pushing it forward now, you know. There you go. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yep. That is cool, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, what else I had to ask you? So his whole cars is any, well, no, you said you the uh, art is out there to get. People can get the art, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it comes up at auction every now and then. The biggest thing, as far as from the family side is concerned, we yeah. don't we don't have anything. You know, however many I can get this out to people. In Europe, a lot of this in Europe, I see. Yes, 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 yes. A, lot a lot of it is in Europe. Yeah, a lot of it is in Europe. Wow. So you know, the biggest thing when Dom started doing canvases, that was back basically uh, mid eighties, and at that point. You know, he went to the Yes Studio, I think it was in 1980, 1981, they yeah. did that big show. You mm -hmm. know, but at that point, people in the U.S. weren't looking at graffiti as art. You know what I mean? It, was, it, was, it wasn't art. You know what I mean? That was something that somebody did on the side of a wall or something. Mm -hmm. right. So when he was able to go over to Europe and start pushing everything forward that way, yeah. you know, a lot of that work stayed there. A lot of that work never came back to it. Never came back. Wow. Oh, never really came back to the States. There was a couple canvases that floated around the States that he gave to, uh, he gave the family and friends when he passed. But for the most part, I think we got rid of all those. They've been sold. You know, one of the biggest things that my uncle always stood for and always told us was, my art is to be appreciated. He didn't want it sitting, you know, in our house, just hanging on the wall for all of us to see. Y'all you know, like, yeah, get inspired. Yeah, that's right. Let other people see it and let other people be inspired by it. So yeah. that's, that's what we've been trying to do with his legacy moving forward. Let open up those archives and let people see the actual artist that Donnie was. Yeah, because he's top, man. I'm telling you, like, yeah. my inspirations from, from way back, like, after the Star Wars movie, which I had read that Star Wars is around here. We discovered mm -hmm. him back in the day, the 80s when that movie came out. And then just all these, every graffiti magazine I would get, like, there's a Donnie, there's a cover. And I showed you this yeah. one earlier. 
I showed you that yeah. right elemental yeah. match even around no more, but that cover. Dondi's on the yep. cover, so oh absolutely. That you know, and that's the crazy thing because I remember when he passed in '98. '98, right? You know, Source, Ma yeah, Source magazine came. You remember the Source? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were in hip hop, forget about it. You know Source. Yeah, I got, I got some here. My family just sent. I got a whole box. They sent my stuff out here. I think, I think you saw my Instagram post. They just sent my stuff out to me, so they're in there. I got them. <laughs> I remember '98. The Source. They did a, a article basically on his past, and I remember looking at that, going, "Wow, yeah. my uncle's in the Source." And literally, I thought that, that was as high as it was going to get, bro. <laughs> I didn't think we were getting any higher. That's than a good that. question. Let me ask you. When did you realize you knew right away like he was, like, let's say, big time? Did you know? No, 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 no. You didn't know? You know the no. The funny thing is, you know, my uncle, he never, he never put off that aura about him. He never put off, I'm better than you. Right, you right. Know, I do this. I'm Dondi. Da, 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 da. No, that wasn't him at all. You know, he was a very, very humble, quiet, soft-spoken figure. It reflects, now, in book. Yeah, it reflects in here, too. Right, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you know, his close friends that knew him, you know, obviously knew who he was and what he right. was and what he stood for. Yes. But, um, you know, as far as me, when I actually realized how big this was, was probably, I would say it was probably a couple of years ago when Virgil reached out. Wow. Yeah, you know, because before that, you know, we had did a couple of things here and there. We did a line with Supreme and we did a line with Susie and my dad did a couple of shows overseas and whatnot. And yeah. he would always tell us, he was like, you know, your uncle is huge. And it just never clicked. Wow, really? That, just recently you? Oh, man, yeah. That recently, because it never really clicked because I didn't have the archives. I didn't go into all that. Oh, okay. You know, when Don passed in 98, I was 21, 22. Yeah, I was in. Yeah, I was in my twenties. I didn't care about that. Yeah. I was doing my own thing at that point. You know what I mean? Yeah, because for us, like I said, for us, it was a big deal. Like this is a graffiti legend. When you follow graffiti and you follow all that stuff, right. yeah, right. So right, you know, for right. us, non family, yeah, yes, right. So you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. you know, you get you get to ninety eight, and he passes away. You know, before that, you know, growing up, I always knew. I always knew he was in the art. I didn't know how big it was. You know, I, I yeah, I'll give you an example from like 83 to 88. He was over in Europe probably mm. four or five times a year. Right. So I talked to my dad and be like, yo, we're down here. Oh, he's over in Denmark. He's over in Germany. He's over in England. Yes, no. Again, when you're eight years old, this is not, oh, you, you know what I mean? That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not grasping how big this sure, is. You don't know, right. This is becoming. Right. You know, all you, all you know is, Oh yeah, his friends ain't here, so we can't play Pac-Man. Right. I mean, that's, that's <laughs> I got you. you yeah. <laughs> so Ninety-eight rolls around, he passes away, and Dad starts doing all these things, and we're like, "Oh, okay, that's yeah, that's kind of cool and everything." Yeah, all right, great. And I kept telling her about, like, "Yeah, it's a small little circle of graffiti fans, and you know, they know my uncle, and yeah, it's kind of big in that circle." Yeah. That's really about <laughs> it, and blah blah blah. Where uh, my dad, you know, so my dad, he decides to retire and everything, and I start digging into it. And the one thing my dad told me, he said, you know, when I took over, he said, you know, you know Dondi, your uncle. You don't know Dondi, the artist. Mm -hmm. You have no clue who Dondi, the artist. Uh, it's interesting. Yeah. So I had to actually study who Dondi, the artist, was. Wow. And then when I started digging into it, I was like, oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> this is something, you know, this is something very big. Yeah. Very, very big. And it's very important to us to make sure that that legacy stays what it is. Yes. You got it. Yeah. Yep. It's very, very good, man. Very good. Just, just hearing from you and everything. So yeah. what do you want to say about the organization and how can people contact you guys for art or so, for things you have? How does that, how does that work? So the easiest way to get in contact with us now, I, I pretty much, for the most part, rep the family. You know, somebody's looking to get in contact with my dad or my sisters for whatever reason. The Instagram site is public. It's not yep. private. I got all my informations on there. Just reach out. My <clears throat> my email address is on there. Uh, BKMike6453 at gmail.com. Yep. Very, very simple. You know, this is not, I'm not the type of guy that's, you know, going to turn anything down. You know, I, I like to do this in a positive way and just increase and move the culture forward. That's basically all I'm doing. So whatever we can do or whatever, you know, the family could do, 
to help move that forward, we're all about it. Yep, very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Has there ever been anybody ever approach you guys for because he needs a movie? <laughs> Not <documentary laughs> or just his story, because when you read this, it, it's a movie from you know the grandparents from Italy to the you know just the whole to New York and then moving oh, and yeah. Bobby, the Catholic school, just the whole it's a yeah, when you really when you really get down to it and you want to really get into the meat of it. Yeah. At that time, you had two prolific African American artists in New York. Mm -hmm. You had Dandy and you had Basquiat. Right. 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 We all know how Basquiat's life and trajectory yeah. went. He went into that public scene. Yeah. Yeah. So said, nah, I'm not that dude. I'm backing off. Mm, yep. You can see how those careers, you know, went from there basically. Um, but you know, more or less. I'm sorry, I lost your question. What was the question? <laughs> if, if a movie possibility came, right, 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 right. So, that, you know, yeah. so as far as you know, so as far as his life goes and everything, that's kind of where I was getting at with the Basquiat. Yeah, Basquiat had films done and everything like that. And I asked my dad the same thing. I said, you know, how 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 have we not done a documentary? How have we not done this? How have we not done that? Mm -hmm. And Don's actually been in a couple of things. I can't tell you know people that are watching this. There was um, one 80s movie from back, you know, from back in the 80s. It was on ABC. It's called Dreams Don't Die. It was like a TV yeah. movie. You know that movie, right? Yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Supposedly, right. what the director told us, it was loosely based on Dondi. Mm. Yeah, my dad says, yeah, that's basically Dondi and his girlfriend Marisol's story, just without the cop in the movie. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know, because the black cop comes in and saves the white kid, brings him up. You know right, I mean? right, right, right. You know, there was no cop saving Don. You know, yeah. him. That didn't happen. You know, he did it on his own. Right. So, but, you know, I'm reaching out there and I'm, you know, obviously trying to get it to a point to where somebody will approach us and say, hey, we need to make this into a movie. We need to make a story out of this. Yeah. So hopefully that's going to come sooner rather than later. It, it is something we're looking at working yeah, on. Yeah, nice. It's a matter of finding the right partner, the right story. You know, right time frame because you know my uncle's life, even though it's so short, he died at 37. Wow. It's really three parts. Wow. You know, you have the beginning as a childhood, mm -hmm. the middle where he basically finds his love for art and graffiti and starts to, you know, bring his style to a different aspect, and then the adult life where it's like, okay, this is what I created, this is what it became. Right. You know, so it's a matter of, you know, what story do you want to tell? Right. Or do you want to tell the whole story? Yeah, I think the. For me, the way the book flows, you know, like the life story stuff, I think it's a it's a movie in there. You have to have to lay some stuff in there, but mm -hmm. definitely a story that he made it like or not. He blossomed and like I said, all the arts out there and people are it's hard to get. Like I want one, but yeah. they're hard to get them priced. Oh it. man. Oh so, man, it's yeah. <laughs> it's not easy. Book, even it's this not... book, you seen the prices on this lately? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I got mine when I got it. Oh yeah. You know, I was thinking about calling yeah. my sister, see if she had a couple of copies left. Because, you know, I remember when that book came out, mm. I think I ended up with like 20 copies at one point out. I gave them all away. You know, there's people out there with that book probably sitting in a closet now, not even knowing what they got. I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, the graffiti people, we all know here in Phoenix got a good graffiti scene. And like, I'm, I'm involved with a lot of the events and stuff that take place. And I know a lot of the writers. And it's, yeah, he, he's, he's a somebody. He's a somebody in that scene. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, he wanted a pioneer. He's a pioneer. Like, the early, he's like I said, 60s, 70s, all he's writing those days. And yeah, so definitely a plays a pioneer and legend, like I say, man. Just, you know, phenomenal yeah. artist. I love his work. Like I said, it's one of my inspirations to, to do art. Yeah. So. Well, you know, the beauty about it is even with the Instagram site and everything that we have been able to do, we're picking up new people that have never experienced them before. You know, I get people that pop into my DMs all the time asking me to do art for them, thinking I'm done. Dude. I'm like, oh, no, he died past in 98. <laughs> Gotcha. You know, so, wow. so there, you know, that just goes to show you that people are even popping on now going, oh, my God, who is this yeah. guy? Where did he come from? Yeah, so they, okay, I got it. So those are younger, gen probably younger generations getting the answer. Mm -hmm. They want something done. I see. I get it. Yeah. Like exactly. Yeah. No, no, yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. But, but the cool thing beyond that is, you know, it brings them into that, into that fold, into that art scene, you know, they, maybe they'll be inspired, maybe they'll be appreciative yeah. of whatever the case may be, you know, so. Definitely. Right on, man. Right on. Yes, sir. So, yeah, Mike, thanks for coming on, man. Any last no words you want to say before we before we wrap this um, up? I think for the most part, you know, our biggest thing right now 
It's just make it so make it sure that the story that gets out there of what yeah. my uncle was, who my uncle was, how his life was perceived. Mm -hmm. You know, we just want to make sure it's it's the right story. You know, you know, we don't want anybody running off and going crazy with everything like that and whatnot. But you know, we're a very very approachable family. You know, we love the art community. <laughs> you know, obviously my uncle is who Dandy is who Dandy is. You know what I mean? Right. So it's just a matter of you know anybody looking to do anything, definitely contact me. You know, we're always open, always looking at ideas, and uh, yeah, just trying to push the. Cool. Pushes art forward, pushes art into a new dimension, basically is what it really amounts to. It's like my dad said, you know, for those 20 years, he was able to get the people that were in my age bracket and under, you know, the guys that are in the 60s now. Right. Now we're trying to focus it more on my children's generation, because they're in their teens, early 20s. This is why we open their eyes to what Dondi does as well. Yeah, sounds good. Anything coming up with <laughs> Any shows, anything? No, um, at this point... We got a couple things kicking around, but nothing really in concrete right now. I mean, with you know, with the pandemic and everything going on. Yeah, yeah, that's true. What can you do? That's you know what I mean? What, what can you do? So that's that. All online. Is it, far as that, is it an online store? No, I'm thinking about setting something up, you know, but the biggest thing is, what do you sell on the online store? I don't have anything. <laughs> you know, that's, just, that's the biggest thing. I ain't got no one to sell. You know what I mean? Yeah, so what am I going to sell? That'll, there's a company that'll make the merch for you in... Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You yeah. know, the big thing with like merchandising and stuff like that, as far as like, you know, the clothing brands and everything that we do, yeah. we try to keep it highly, highly exclusive. Oh, um, there you go. Okay. Yeah. You know, getting back to like the Basquiat thing. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I feel you. It, it's a very, very fine line from when you're trying to get product out there to get people art that they necessarily can't afford, but it's on a different medium that they can't afford. Yeah. And then crossing that line and completely selling out. <laughs> All right, absolutely, absolutely, yep. You know, it's like, uh, you know, just for me alone, the next thing with the Basquiat jerseys. Yeah. How are you gonna take a dead man's hand style and create something? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, I've seen several. I've seen some um, what's it? Some, some Keith Haring Wu Tang stuff. Yeah. Like Keith yeah, Haring Wu Tang. Like, like, oh, mm -hmm. dude, keeping it. You know, yeah. it's like. <laughs> if I was Basquiat's family, I'd be rolling over, you know, what the fuck? <laughs> you know? Oh, actually, I think that they signed. I think they signed at all. Yeah. I'm not even doing for the money. You know, I understand. Absolutely. I think you they know, And that's there. the whole thing, you know, that's what my dad raised us doing, basically. He was like, you know, this is not a money thing. Yeah. You know, we don't look at this as a source of income. Basically, what we're trying to do is push your uncle's words first. Yeah. That's what his dying wish was. Serve legacy. Yeah. Serve legacy. I got you. Yep. Totally. Right. Exactly. And that's, that's really all it's about. We do a lot of... Uh, a lot of charity projects. Last year when we did the off-white line, we donated all that money to charity. Oh, it was delivered, that, yeah, it was, that, it was that, donated that. to uh, Scott's We Deliver up in New York, which is, you know, a place that basically serves people that can't get out of the house. They bring them food. And that's wow. who took care of Dondi on his last day. So, yeah, we yeah, think cool. that cut him a check for like 60 grand or something. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Yeah, so I mean, that's, the, you know, that's a lot of what we do with this money. We put it back in the community. So this way it keeps moving forward and moving forward. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Yep, so one of these days, I'll get my hands on something. Don D is... I got you, wall. brother. This wall, not this wall behind me, the one right here is full of art artists. Now, I'm an artist, but I have it. It's full of, like, local artists, all kind of artists that I know and respect. So one day I'll get something. I'm going to get something. in the next year or so. Yeah, and that way I can get to something. Yeah, all good, man. All good. But, yeah, Mike, good talking to you, man. I'm going to wrap this up, and this will be world and um like i said as you say people can get in contact with you y'all heard that you can get in contact with mike he's open to talk open to do business if it's right and that's how we're gonna do it salute man right. you're a legend yes sir man i appreciate y'all all right, <laughs> all right. Bro, i'll talk all right. to you all right take it easy I appreciate it all right brother all right peace